Hi, welcome to the Museum of Art. My name is Kate Daly. I'm a student educator here, which I consider to be a great privilege because I get to work with paintings like this all the time. I learn about them and then I teach about them. And that's what we're gonna do today. Today we're talking about The Sacrament in the Americas by Jorge Coco Santangelo. It's part of our newest exhibition called Of Souls and Sacraments, Symbol and Context in Christian Art. Jorge Coco Santangelo's modern style is called sacrocubism, meaning that he can portray sacred subjects such as this in a post-cubist lens. Sacrocubism allows Jorge Coco to take sacred themes such as these and express them in their most basic and essential form. So he'll use artistic tools such as line and shape and color and light to communicate religious messages to his audience that are really fascinating and that I'd love to take a look at closer. First, I'd love to take a look at color. Color in this piece is so, so interesting. And I love how he uses these deep blues and also these neutral hues of browns and grays and greens, but then intersperses it with brilliant reds and even a pink here. We have a very deep blue, almost a royal blue over here in this woman's earring. These really beautiful little decorations that almost make this scene a celebration, a very joyous moment. I also love the deeper meaning behind the color red, especially at the sacrament altar, where of course the red represents Christ's sacrifice and what he did, and the sacrament itself is emblematic of that sacrifice as well. I'd also love to discuss the lines in this piece. First, we have very distinct vertical lines coming down directly above Christ and over his sacramental altar. Those vertical lines connect him with the people down below to the heavens above. He stands in the middle almost as if he's the mediator for them, which of course he is. And I also love that he's standing next to his sacrament altar and the sacrament is what allows us, that promise that we make, the covenants that we make with God through the sacrament, allow us to come unto Christ and to reach that heaven, that salvation that we so long for. Connecting these vertical lines with the people as well is a very strong diagonal that cuts straight across. The diagonals represent strength and power, something that's, of course, also representational of the sacrament in the sacrament strength and power to bring us closer to Christ and to heaven. The diagonals cut straight across Christ and through the bread and wine that are on the sacrament altar towards the people. And what's interesting is that this vertical and the diagonal create a right triangle. Triangles represent strength and stability, a sure foundation in divinity and the Godhead. So with this right triangle here, that stands above the people right where Christ is, we also have a right angle at his feet. And the right angle is also significant, of course, as we know, as a symbol of exactness and obedience, which we covenant and promise to give Christ as part of our sacrament covenant. And in return, he promises his spirit to be with us, something that's very, very comforting. That comfort is also reflected in, like I mentioned before, the deep blue hues that surround him. I love the neutral tones, the greens, the blues that just emanate the sense of peace and tranquility of that moment. Not only the joy that's celebrated with these brighter colors, but also the more toned down and the quieter reverential respect for the event that's taking place. Another distinguishing characteristic of this piece is the fact that Jorge Coco uses colors to distinguish Christ from his people. Christ is standing wearing white. He alone is wearing white. There is a little bit of white in the crowd, but for the most part, Christ is very distinguished from these people. He stands above them looking up and raising the bread to God as if to bless it and ask for his blessing for the people below him. These people stand with heads bowed in reverential respect for their savior. And I just love the emotion of the piece. The vibrancy of the scene also is significant. I love that Jorge Coco uses colors and lights in the sky and in his people to stand in stark contrast to the three days of darkness that they had experienced previously before Christ ascended and bathed them all in light and love and sacrament. Jorge Coco's style of sacrocubism also allows for simplicity and abstraction and taking things down to the bare essentials. And I love that we can do that with the people in this scene. The people here, we can tell, are diverse, they're colorful, 
But the feelings and emotions that they evoke are so simple that we can feel them as well. We can be part of this crowd that's worshiping Christ and taking part in this sacrament covenant. I love that we can come here and worship in front of a painting and it can be part of our own sacrament, something that's a sacred token for us. This painting and all of the rest in this exhibition are wonderful opportunities to find Christ and to find the meaning of salvation and the meaning of what sacrament and sacrifice means to you. We welcome you to the exhibition and would love to see you here soon.